Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a personal brand website in under 10 minutes. Now, of course, there are so many different website building platforms out there, but for building a personal brand website, my recommendation is just to go with something like Squarespace, which is what we'll be using in this video. And that's because it's just super easy. The website templates that you guys can choose from are extremely good looking, and it's probably one of the fastest website builders out there. So yeah, in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to make a brilliant looking personal brand website. And yeah, hopefully you guys get a lot of value from it. Just know that the biggest mistake I see people do in terms of their personal brand website is to spend a lot of time on it, right? They want to make everything perfect. They want to have all the right graphics. They want their website to look like a professionally built website. But I'll tell you guys this, it does not really matter what your website looks like. It just needs to look clean. It needs to look good. It needs to be fast. And that's all very accomplishable with something like Squarespace. Anyways, if you click on the start here link down below, it's going to take you to this exact landing page. And from here, you'll be able to start start a 14 day free trial. The great thing is that they don't actually require your credit card. And then you guys can follow step by step as I show you guys how to build your website. So on this page, what I'm going to do is click get started right here. It's going to ask you a few questions about what your site is about. So for this one, let's just say education or personal and CV click next. It's going to ask you what your top goals are. Of course, you guys can skip any of these if you want, but this does help you sort of determine what you're trying to build for yourself. For me, I'm going to click market myself or my business and click next. Next, we'll select one of these. Uh, let's just do this one, click finish. And here you're gonna be able to select your template that you want to build your website with. So Squarespace, one of their big strong suits is their templates, right? They just look really, really good. I've been actually using Squarespace for, I wanna say like close to 10 years now. And it's super like a set it, forget it sort of platform. So if you guys value your time, then this is gonna be a no brainer. So let's choose one of these just to make our search a little bit easier. Let's choose professional services. And yeah, just know that if you guys don't like any of these templates, you guys can actually build a template uh, yourself. But for most of you guys, you're gonna find something on here that works really well. I'm actually gonna try personal and CV. Let's see if there's any better templates here. And I see this one. I actually think this one looks really cool. Let's click on this and let's build our website with it. So you guys can click preview. It's going to show you sort of what it looks like. I think this is a pretty cool template. Let's click start with this design. From here, you're going to be able to create your account, right? So you guys can either use Google, Apple, or just use an email address. We'll go with email address for now. Now, once we've signed in and created our accounts, we'll be able to actually name our site. So let's just name mine Charlie Chang, which is my name. Continue, click next and then get started. Okay, so the great thing about Squarespace is that it's very, very easy for you guys to personalize your template and sort of create your website. This is going to be a preview of what your website looks like currently on desktop. If you guys wanna see what it looks like on mobile, you guys can click on that. But yeah, let's go to desktop and let's actually first go to asset library. This is where we're going to upload all the different assets and photos and stuff that we use for our website. So I have a folder full of stuff that I'm going to drag over. Once all these things are uploaded, I'm I'm actually going to go back to home and then I'm going to go to settings. So with your website, one thing I really recommend doing is buying a domain. So a custom domain, instead of using the built-in domain that comes with Squarespace, I recommend getting something like charliechang.com or your name.com or whatever. Now, if you do actually subscribe and pay for Squarespace, their plans actually do come with a free custom domain. So that's great. But of course on our little trial right here, we're not going to have that domain. Just know that at some point you'll want to get the domain and you'll want to set it up through Squarespace. For now, what I'm gonna do is come here to pages. And this is the main part of the dashboard where you can actually create new pages, remove pages, and edit these pages. So as you guys can see, right now we have two pages that are already created that come with this theme, right? So we have a gallery page. It's gonna look like this as of right now, as well as an about page. If you guys do want to create a new page, you guys can click on this. There's a bunch of different options you guys can use. For example, a blank page, you guys can go with a page layout. You guys can actually create a page page for scheduling, you have a blog, a store, a portfolio, etc. But let's say we want to go with a page layout. Let's say we want to create a contact page and then let's go with this one. Cool, so now we have a contact page as well. We can rename it, contact me. And from here on, we can basically go through here and change what's in this. But before we do that, let's actually go back to the main homepage. And if we want to edit this page, what we can basically do is double click on this. It's going to expand it and take it into their website 
Site Builder. So of course we have our site title up there. We have our main navigation with Contact Me, Gallery, and About. We can change these, delete them, add more if we want. Basically what I'm gonna do is change the name of course. So I'll highlight that. I'll write Charlie, I'll write Chang right here. Let's change this picture right here. So let's click on this. We'll click Edit and we'll click Replace right here. Let's select from our library since we already uploaded a bunch of stuff. And let's just go with this one. We'll click Add right there. And that's going to insert this picture, right? So it's pretty cool because it has this little border around it, which we can actually change if we want. By clicking Design. You can click on Shape right here and change the shape. So we can choose any of these. Let's go with this one for now, okay? We can undo the stretch if we want, but I'm going to do that so it can crop in just a little bit. We can add an overlay. We can do a light box too, but I'm just gonna leave that as is for now because I think this looks pretty good. Here, we're gonna change, of course, what this says. So let's say content creator and you, oops. YouTuber. Okay. Of course, we can change the font here. We can change the colors. But you guys, I just recommend going with the pre-built color scheme. They have designers working on these templates and these colors are these colors for a reason. So I would just not mess around with that. Here, we can change the about section right here. So of course, I would change this text. I'd write, of course, about Charlie. We can add more pictures here. We can also remove sections, right? So if I don't want the section right here, I can actually click remove. If we want to actually put this section section right here above us, we can come here. It's going to move up. We can also move it down as well. And at any point, if you guys want to actually add a section, you guys can click this. Here you're gonna be able to choose from all these different sections. So I love Squarespace because they have so many different things. For example, let's go with services. Let's choose this one. And that's going to add this section in right here with this cool little animation. Let's change this picture right here to something else. Let's go with this one. Let's see if that works. Okay, something like that. It's a little cropped, but we'll be okay with with that I can actually come here to design and I can basically go like that cool if you want to change the text right here we can click edit right here we'll click this change it to featured class okay we can change the text here change up this link as well change the colors and all that stuff but for now we'll just leave this as is I think this looks pretty good this portion you guys can also customize as well if you want basically just go through this remove different sections that you don't want add sections that you do want and yeah in a matter of minutes you'll have a website that looks really really well that looks professionally built and no one's ever going to know that you just built it using a template that was this affordable big pet peeve of mine is when people don't actually update the copy copyright. So make sure you guys update this based on the year it is, as well as what your company is. You guys can see they also have this little newsletter section in the footer, which is great. I always recommend you guys start building up a newsletter, start building up a email database as soon as you can. That's going to definitely come to handy in the future. Let's remove this section since we already have a book me. And yeah, I think this website looks pretty awesome. What we can do is if we want to actually come here, we'll click done and click save. Let's actually go to the pages and go to the about section. So this is the about me page. This is going to be, of course, extremely customizable. Let's change this photo right here. Double clicking. It's going to pull up the editor. We'll click on this photo, click edit, replace, select from library. Let's choose one of these photos that we have already here. Let's go with this one. Add. That's going to add this photo. It looks great. We can, of course, change this color and this design and all the stuff if we want, but I recommend don't play around with it too much. Let's leave it as that shape. And here, all the text, very easy to edit. You just basically basically highlight it, change it. All right, so obviously you won't write something like that, but I just wrote something. I change all this text. Don't try and get too complicated with your sections. Just sort of go with what is here. Edit all this text. We can change this photo as well. You know, add a different quote right here. And of course, like I said, add any sections you want, remove any sections you want. And I think within like one or two hours, you guys, you should have a very, very good looking website. Let's say we'll go with this. We'll click done, save changes. Let's see how our website looks on mobile. So let's click on the mobile view. So this is is what the mobile me page looks like. Let's go back to the home page. This is what the home page looks like. I think it looks really great. It has this animation. Yeah, all this stuff, you guys, if you were to build this yourself with a professional web developer, it would cost a lot of money. But with Squarespace, they have so many different great templates that are made by their developers. And yeah, you can build a very professional looking website just like this in a matter of minutes, right? And of course, you guys don't need to use this exact template. There are hundreds of other templates that you guys can use. And no matter what your style or what what type of website
that you're building, they're gonna have a template for you. Another great thing about Squarespace is that you guys can look at the analytics of your website. I'm not gonna get into this much right now, but you guys can look at your revenues, you guys can look at the views. If you're selling things, abandoned carts, you can create funnels if you want. You guys can look at the SEO, the different traffic sources. And yeah, this is just a very powerful platform that's super all-in-one, super simplistic, but allows you to create a very great looking personal brand website. If I ever want to do a full preview of the website, I can just click here on this arrow right here. It's gonna take us into the full page. And this is just basically gonna be what your website looks like. You'll be able to share this link and bam, you have your personal brand presence on the internet. Again, the link to Squarespace is gonna be down below. You guys can click on that link. It's gonna to go to the exact page for that 14 day free trial. And you guys can literally watch this video again, follow along with the step-by-step -step instruction and start building your website. I guarantee you, if you guys do this today and build your website, you will have a very good looking website by the end of the day. Again, don't get too caught up in customizing your website. Don't get caught up making it perfect and having it look exactly how you want it. Instead, just make sure it looks professional to the outside eye and spend your time building your personal brand, making content and doing other things that are way more productive than building a website. That's why I recommend for a personal brand website just to use an all-in-one platform like Squarespace. It's very affordable. It's gonna save you hours and hours and hours. Just take that time and build your personal brand instead. It's cool. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, like I mentioned before, all the resources that we talked about in this video are gonna be down below. If you guys use those links, it will help out our channel. It's what helps keep our content free for you guys. And yeah, I just really appreciate your time watching this video and I hope you guys got a lot of value from it. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, share with a friend, and subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials to help start your business. Thanks for your time, I'll see you in the next video.